Hey guys, this video is going to talk about oiling trumpet valves. Okay, now I get more trumpet players that mess this up and then I'll have to quote unquote fix the trumpet because they didn't follow the, the right procedures that I taught. So pay real close attention to what I'm going to do. Now, once in a while you'll notice that when you press your valves down they don't come up, they're kind of sticky and that means they need some oil. They need some lubrication so they so they can come up. Now I'm going to take out uh, let's actually let's take out the third valve first okay the third valve I'm going to unscrew the valve cap which is this one right here not this there's three things that unscrew but the one that we want to unscrew is this one right here okay I'm going to unscrew it and then I'm going to take that all the way out now valves uh, might look different but they all have the same sort of principle okay so there's uh, a spring up here and these holes correspond with the tubing of the trumpet so when it's in the up position it corresponds with a certain set of tubes and then when it's in the down position it corresponds with a different set of tubes okay so it's important to to remember that and know that when you put it back in that it has to go in the right way okay so when we oil it the only place that you need to oil is this part down here where the holes are it doesn't do any good to oil up here or up here I've seen trumpet players oil it up here it doesn't do any good to do that the only place that counts and it does any good is this part down here where the holes are so I'm just gonna kinda get it all wet and another thing you might want to uh, I usually do this sitting down and uh, if you have a rag on your leg that saves your pants from getting uh, some embarrassing spots on your on your pants so um, that's always the first thing I do I put the rag on my pants so I don't get oil on it and then I can put oil on the valve because honestly it will drip on your pants alright so I've oiled it and I'm gonna put it back in now when I do here's what I do there's different schools of thought on this but this is what I do so I can twist it all the way around like that, but it's only going to work if it's in one exact position. Okay, and it's important to know that. So, I'm going to blow air in my trumpet. Oh, I can't blow any air through. But I'm going to spin it as I blow. And there's one special place where if you spin it slowly, you can get air going all the way through your trumpet and that tells you that it's in the right spot okay so if it's in the wrong spot no air spin it ah. and I can blow air all the way through also I felt when I did it I felt it lock into place there's a little notch in there that corresponds with this valve guide, I don't know if you can see that, and that corresponds inside the trumpet, inside the valve, with a little notch in there. Okay? And really, if that's, that's kind of hard to figure out if you're just trying to drop it in the right place. The best way, like I said, is to blow air through the trumpet and spin it around at the same time. Once you've found that magic spot, go ahead and screw it down and then go to the next one go to the middle one All right. now why did I use the third valve first why did I blow the third valve first and, and oil that well the reason is if you look when I blow my trumpet the air is coming down here around this corner and look where it goes first it goes into the third valve okay so I always start with the third valve uh, for that reason go to the next one and oil it exactly the same put it down, screw it back in, and then the first one, okay? And once you get it right, ah, it feels so good. You can press the valves down and, and they pop right back up. It doesn't do any good to oil it in here. Some trumpet players, oh, I'm gonna save some time and put it in these holes. It doesn't do any good. Or some trumpet players uh, will take the little slides out and put it in there. And that's better than putting it down there, but uh, the best way is just to take the thing out 
oil it and then put it back in. All right, I hope you learned something about oiling your valves.